And we really have been focusing on engaging boys and men. And the reason why it's so important to uh, engage boys and men is while most men do not commit crimes of violence against women, sadly, the vast majority of perpetrators happen to be men and the vast majority of victims happen to be women. It's not that difficult. Most boys and men, they have a sister, they have a girlfriend, they have a mother, they have an aunt. Uh, and so we connect them to the issues and try to help them see why their voice is so important. We don't want to blame boys and men for creating uh, sexual violence, but we want to engage them in a movement to change our rape culture, to address head on some of the messaging that we get on in media, some of the messaging that we get through language. And there are some simple things that we can do. And one of the things that we've done at Dwight Morrow High School is working with our coaches staff. So we had three male leaders who were respected on campus who joined us in an effort to begin to have these conversations with boys, particularly with athletes. We rely on coaches uh, to help us educate young men in the high schools and in the middle schools by teaching them skill sets, bystander intervention. We use the three D's, direct, distract, and delegate. So what we teach young people is that you can get involved by using one of those three strategies. You can either directly get involved by calling somebody out for their inappropriate or abusive or perpetrator-like behavior. You can delegate by calling the police or getting a teacher involved or contacting somebody that you trust that can get involved. And you can also distract. So something, if you see something um, happening in action, you can distract that action by happening by doing something as easy as making a loud noise or interrupting somebody and saying, oh, you know, the police are coming. So there are different techniques that we can teach young people that can safely intervene when they see something uh, that is not right uh, and that could lead to some horrific violence.